welcome back again to In Focus. Now, Washington's famed Smithsonian Museum recently opened a new African art collection. VOA's Callan Turner has more on the Africa Mosaic. Africa Mosaic showcases more than 100 traditional and contemporary works, some of which have never been on display. The centerpiece of the exhibit is the sculpture to Saint Louverture et la Vie a Slave, the Haitian freedom fighter and an elderly slave woman. It was created by a Senegalese artist in celebration of the bicentennial of the French Revolution. The artist, Ousmane So, is well known outside the USA, according to museum curator Christine Kramer. I think it's his very best work. It's over life size. It's a monumental sculpture uh, made of iron infrastructure, earthen materials, uh, 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 straw and so on, and it depicts the Haitian freedom fighter Toussaint Louverture at his moment of destiny. If you look in his eyes, this is a man who knows his destiny to free Haiti from French uh, domination and to free the uh, individuals who have been enslaved uh, in Haiti. Uh, it's that moment of determination and compassion as he rests his hand on the enslaved woman at his feet. It's a wonderful work of art by a very important contemporary sculptor. Usman So is known for his series on civilizations that represent man. He focuses on ethnic tribes of Africa. His larger-than-life effigies are sculpted from his imagination. His sculptures possess a successful blend of great Western classical sculpture and ritual practices of Africa. After 20 years, it was an emotional experience for the artist to see his statue again. Usman Sao explains what he thinks about while working. First, to get some personal satisfaction. But I know very well I have chosen a historical figure and that it's extremely important to achieve his intention because of the exposure the sculpture will get. In this case, everything comes to the face of Toussaint Louverture. I spent a lot of time and work achieving that sense of determination as well as compassion. The museum looks for diversity when choosing art. Christine Kramer says the museum is committed to connecting the works of art of the wider diaspora, and this one does it marvelously. Think about it. He's chosen a Haitian moment to talk about that universal desire for freedom and equality worldwide. And what an important moment for all of us who come through these galleries at this time. That is to say that Haiti is once again uh, as part of the national consciousness. The museum was plunged into a behind-the-scenes drama in acquiring the statue. It talks about the thrill of the chase, as it were, for a curator to go after a work of art like Toussaint Louverture et la Vieille Esclave, which I learned it was going to be at auction in June of 2009, and I became absolutely obsessed with it. Had to have it, had to have it for this museum because of the multiple stories it tells and the fact that it is the very best work, I think, by a major Senegalese artist, Usman So. The exhibit will be on display at the Smithsonian Museum of African Art in Washington through 2011. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.